Hi and welcome back. Today's class is a prenatal full body Pilates and yoga fusion. So we're going to start off the practice with a booty burning Pilates style workout and then we're going to work into a yoga flow. The only thing you're going to need today are a couple of blocks. Really you're probably just going to need one and I have two here but one's just fine and then your mat. I also would like to say I apologize for this atrocious backdrop, but we are turning the yoga studio into a nursery. So you kind of work, got to work with what you got, and this is what we've got today. So without further ado, let's begin. Go ahead and allow your eyes to flutter closed. Place your hands on your knees for grounding. Just take a minute to drop into our body. Feel your hips ground down onto the mat. Roll your shoulders back and down, away from the ears. If you have any tension in the jaw area, just release that now. Begin to notice the quality of your breath. Inhaling through your nose. And exhaling, open the lips inside out through the mouth. With every inhale, growing the spine a little taller. And with every exhale, grounding down through the hips a little more. Just take another deep breath together. Inhale deep through the nose. Exhale, open the lips and let it go. One more breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, this time seal the lips inside out through the nose. Allow every next breath to be just like that. Inhaling and exhaling. I want you to set an intention for today's practice. Can be anything you want. Something as simple as just doing your best today and accepting yourself for whatever your best looks like today without judgment or comparison. Let's take one last inhale together to seal that in. And exhale, sealing the lips out of the nose. your next inhale, allow your eyes to flutter open. And let's take a couple of hip circles. So just circling around. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. This is Yogi's choice, so you can go whatever direction you want. Just slowly waking up the spine. Let's take it the other direction now. Staying with that strong Ujjayi breath. One more circle like this. Let's meet back in center. Inhale, sweep your arms up above your head. And then with your exhale, take them out in front of you, round through the back. We're going to take a couple seated cat cows. Inhale, cactus the arms out. Take a little back and bend gaze, comes up. Exhale, dome and round through the back. Inhale, take your little back bend gaze, goes up, opening, broadening through the chest. Exhale, contract everything in. One more, just like that. Inhale, gaze goes up. Exhale. 
Your next inhale, roll over the feet and come to tabletop position. Extend your right leg out behind you and curl your right toes under. We're gonna take a little calf stretch here. So press the heel back, opening up through the calf. And then just begin to rock forward and back using the toes to control you. Oftentimes in pregnancy, we get those pesky leg cramps. I don't know if you saw my calf opening video, but I've been struggling with that lately. So let's just take a minute to pay our calves a little bit of respect. Switch it out, take the other leg, curl the toes under, press it back. This feels so nice. And then use the toes to push you forward. Also getting a little wrist warm up if you allow it. Let's take it for three, two, and one. Come back to tabletop position. This time extend your right foot out behind you and point through the toe. Hover your toe just off the mat. Maybe, maybe line it up with the hips. Take this moment to stack your shoulders over the wrist and roll the hips down on the mat so they're square. And then pulse. Just take little pulses here, just like that. We're warming up through the glutes. And pulse. And pulse. Just like that. So you have a long line of energy from your hip all the way down to your toe. It's very important to point through your toe because that helps engage the quad. We're engaging the muscle here staying active through the hands. You don't want to collapse into the shoulders. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now point your right toe to the right corner of your mat and lift. Take it to the left side and lift. Just like that. That's the move. Up and down, up and down, lift and lower, lift and lower, just like that, stay with me. You can feel it burning, engage through the core. You wanna pretend like your entire upper body is firm and you're only moving through the glute. So try not to sway the hips, pressing down through the hands for 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, stay with me, and one. Now bend at the knee, flex your foot like you're going to stomp on the ceiling and pulse. Little pulses up, just like that. Stay engaged through your core. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Extend that right leg out and come to an extended side angle. So sweep your right arm overhead right foot still extended out and you're kind of in a assisted side plank make sure your shoulder your wrist is stuck underneath your shoulder take your right hand behind the head point through the toe and pulse just like that stay with your breath really burning out this right leg for 10 9 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tap the front corner of your mat and lift and tap the back corner just like that, slow and controlled. Tap and lift, tap and lift just like that. Stay with it. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down to tabletop position. We're gonna take it on the other side. I'm gonna switch so you can see me, but you stay the same. Extend your left leg out, point through the toe and pulse, just like that. Whew. Burn it out. Stay with me. Keep pulsing. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now tap the left corner of your mat and lift. And tap and lift. Little rainbows. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Just like that. Keep up. Whew using our own body weight to build strength in our body. Stay with it. Keep up with your form. Keep your hips squared to the mat for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, flex the foot, and pulse. Just like that. Little kicks. It's a tiny little movement, but it burns really fast. <laughs> Stay with it. If you fall out, just come right back. It's okay. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Come into an extended side angle. Inhale, extend and reach. Take a little stretch. And then bring the left hand behind the head, point to the toe and pulse, just like that. So you can tap and lift just a little above where your hip height is. Tap and lift, tap and lift. That's it, stay with me. Almost finished. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tap to the front and lift and back and lift and front and lift. Stay with me, keep going. Don't worry about it. If you can't get your toe to tap the very back corner of the mat, that's not what's important. Do the best you can. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Stay firm through the right wrist. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back to tabletop position. Ooh, curl your toes under and press your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Ooh. Take a little stretch here. This is our first down dog of the day. So just allow yourself to wiggle into position. If you've lost your breath, this is an opportunity to get it back. We're here for three deep breaths. You can always take child's pose here. And you're always welcome to take a break anytime you feel overextended. One more breath. With your next inhale, rise up on your tippy toes, hop, step, or jump to the front of your mat. Feet your hip width distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift with a flat back. Exhale. Lengthen and fold. Inhale, sweep your arms up, gaze goes up. And then exhale, reverse swan dive your arms all the way down and take another forward bend. 
Inhale, halfway lift with a flat back. You can take your blocks here if, if you need. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, roll over your toes, upward facing, whatever version of this works for you. And then exhale, press your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Two more breaths here. With your next inhale, rise up high on your tippy toes of the left foot. Sweep your right leg up, and then exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up for warrior one, sealing the back foot on the mat. With your exhale, straighten through the right leg and open to the back of the room. Tap your right fingers on your right shin, kind of like a triangle pose, and then inhale to lift. We're going to do four more of those for four. Three, two, one. Lift it up and then cartwheel your hands down. Step back, high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, roll over your toes, upward facing. And then exhale, press your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's take that on the second side. Inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, straighten through the left leg and open to the front of your room. And tap. Inhale to lift. Let's take four more for four. Three, two, one, and lift. Cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Go ahead and step back, high plank. Take your version of vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths here. You can have your feet, hip width distance apart, staying active through the hands. Gaze goes up at your navel or between your thighs. With your next inhale, sweep your right leg up and back. Inhale, step it through. Rise up this time for crescent lunge, so you're popped up on the ball of your back foot. Gaze goes up. Exhale, open for sky archer, straightening through the right leg and pulling the right arm over. Inhale, sweep it back, crescent lunge. We're going to take five knee taps for five, four, three, two, and one, hold and hover. We're here for 10 seconds. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release your knee all the way to the mat, interlace your fingers and press the knee away. Just like that, opening up through the back body. Take a deep breath here. With your next inhale, curl your toes under and come back up to crescent. Exhale, open for sky archer. And then drop it low, triangle pose. This is where you can take a block if you need. You can place it under your right hand. Gaze goes up. Take a deep breath here. With your inhale, begin to use your core to lift yourself up, engage through the legs, and bring both arms out to the side. Now drop your right hand down and see if you can tap your ankle and lift. For five, four, three, two, and one, bend deep in the right knee, stamp your left hand down, puff up the ball of your back foot for drive and fly twist. Take a deep inhale, we're only here for a second. Stamp your left hand down, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. 
Inhale, roll over your toes, upward facing. Exhale, press your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's take everything on the left side. Take one more breath here to reset. And with your inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up for crescent. Exhale, open and broaden the left side body. Inhale, sweep it back up, crescent lunge. Let's take our knee taps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold. Stay as low as you can, one inch off the mat. Palms are facing one another. Lower the shoulders away from the ears for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the right knee down, interlace your fingers, and press the left knee away. If you feel anything painful here, obviously back off. Everyone has their own limit for flexibility, and sometimes this can get a little sore. The round ligaments don't want to stretch that way. We're here for one more breath. With your inhale, curl your toes under and sweep your arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, back to sky archer. Inhale, drop it low, triangle pose. Open up. Take your block if you need. Take two breaths here. Now slowly, begin to scissor the legs together like you're trying to roll the mat up underneath you. Engage through your core and lift your left hand off the mat so you're using a lot of side body strength. Extend through your left arms and then drop the left one and bring it up. Whew. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to triangle pose. And then drop your right hand down on the mat and open for dragonfly twist. If the twist feels like too much, you don't have to do it. You can just stamp your left hand down and switch it to lizard. Stamp your left hand down, step the left foot back, high plank. Exhale, lower for chaturanga. Inhale, roll over the toes, upward facing. Exhale, press your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Inhale, rise up on your tippy toes. Hop, step, or jump to the front of your mat. Feet are about hip width distance apart. Inhale, chair pose. Hold here. So drop your hips just a little lower, ground down through all four corners of your feet. Gaze is lifted, palms are facing one another. Shoulders are dropped down away from the ears. See if you can rise up onto your tippy toes and hold. Squeeze through your core. Drop the hips a little lower. A little lower. A little lower. And then slowly allow the heels to come down. Heel toe your feet apart and come all the way down for Buddha squat. Use your elbows to press the knees away. Take a nice little hip stretch here. Give your tailbone a slight curl under and try to keep your back as long as you can. Option to sit on a block if this is just a little too much. Now, stamp your hands down in front of you and step your right foot back and then your left foot back. Now step your left foot back up and then right foot up, hands to heart center. We're gonna take that five times. Alternate the feet. That's it. If your body is not allowing you to do this today, just stay in Buddha squat. That's 
three. Two, last one, and one. Very good. Damp your hands down, straighten out through the legs, and step towards the back of your mat for downward facing dog. With your inhale, sweep your right leg up and back, and step it through to pigeon pose. So your shin is parallel with the front of your mat. You're just easing your way down. Whatever's comfortable for you. You can grab a block. You can place a block underneath your left hip. If you're having trouble getting your hips squared to the mat. And then slowly begin to walk your way down. Allow the head to hang heavy. Let this be comfortable for you. If you're looking for a little more, you can pull the heel away from the groin. And if you're looking for less, the closer you get the heel into your groin, the easier it is. This is an excellent stretch to open up the hips. We're also stretching out the glutes that we worked so hard earlier. Take a couple more breaths here. walk yourself up, curl your left toes under, and come back to downward facing dog. Sweep your left leg up and back, and then bring it through for pigeon on the other side. Same thing goes here. You might have to wiggle into it a little bit, shift your hips so they're square to the mat, and then slowly walk yourself down. Notice if one hip is more open than the other one. Next inhale, walk your hands up, bring the right leg around, and then let's come to laying all the way on our back for Shavasana. If you need a bolster and you're not comfortable with laying on your back, go ahead and grab that now. I'm still okay with laying on my back, so lay down, feet are wide, palms are facing up.
to one side. And gently press yourself up to a seated position. Come back to easy seat. Hands at heart center. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your workout today. And please feel free to leave comments below with any feedback, anything you would like to see, or anything that I could have done better. And I look forward to seeing you next time.